She killed me with the honey. <laughs> no, we're going to enjoy our grandchildren. We've got half of them here today. Well, no, actually, we've got four of the seven because we've got one that you can't see yet. The sky's expecting in January. So that'll be number seven. And growing up as an only child, it's like, wow. <laughs> but we love our grandchildren. And we're going to spend a lot of time with them. We'll still be around, we'll still see you all. You know, there's there's so many people in here. They mean so much to me. Uh, Vicki called me. I won't tell you where I was, but I was indisposed. And I said, you're gonna have to hang on a minute. Put her on the speaker phone. She said, well, Austin's wanting to take me to get by to eat and want you to go with us. And I said, okay. So Austin, who was one of the three we had playing basketball, and, uh, we fussed his team. Uh, I walked out front, and Austin pulled out. I thought we were going to get my day. And he turned and came this direction. He said, I said, where are you going? He said, well, I thought this was one way in and one way out. No, so he comes on down. I thought, what are they having down here? <laughs> <laughs> the purpose building. And he pulled up and I said, Vicky, you set me up. <laughs>
not our own sins. Love one another. Love thy neighbor. I love each and every one of you. I don't care who you are, what you are. Whether your faith is the same as mine, I'm going to hang on to mine. And you can do what you want to do too. Amen. But I love every one of you. Do something good for somebody in the next week. And it'll be more than enough for me. Each of you be safe. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. And I hope, I just hope, like saving Private Ryan at the end of the movie, if you've ever seen it, they're standing in the cemetery. And Private Ryan looks at his wife and says, Am I a good man? I hope I am a good man and a good friend and a good colleague and co 